Okay, in this segment, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be building a mold lamp. A lot of people requested mold lamp, so here we are and we're going to be doing it. This one happens to be made by Odyssey. It's fiberglass. And when you buy the lamp mold, it comes with a cardboard pattern, which I've made copies of on paper. I also colored one in with colored pencils, as you can see here. So I know what color schemes I'm going to be using. And it also comes, and this is my original because it was rolled up, comes with a mylar pattern and a paper pattern. So that you can cut one out to use as a template, the other one used to lay your pieces on to make sure they're right. Is we're going to be uh, putting this together with tacky wax. Now you can see here, when you buy tacky wax, it comes in a big hard block like this. And it says tacky. I'm going to start tracing. And I'm going to number the glass after I trace the pattern out. Now we cover all of this in starting out. If a mold lamp is your first project, you really need to go back and review a little bit because this is not for absolute beginners. This is a little bit further down the road. Now you'll notice on some of the pieces that they jettison out a little bit on one side or the other because all this glass is flat and this is a round mold. So as you're getting ready to solder and tack, just watch for any high points and you can readjust and tilt things back and forth. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start fluxing and I'm going to work from the top down. And you notice that I had a few bleed throughs here where there's a lot of solder inside the lamp. I want to utilize that first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick my wedges underneath here and then I'll flux a section. And you can see, can't see me anymore, but you can see how pretty that lamp looks. And uh, I think we've done a great job. So if you were working along with me, or if you're building a lamp, uh, this is what you'll see when you're done with yours. Just put it on a lamp base, light it up. Uh, this has a, a 75 watt LED bulb in it. I like the LEDs, and if you may have a preference to whether you want the cool white or the daylight, I like the daylight bulbs. They make the glass pop a little bit better, and uh, but... I'm absolutely pleased with this.